Hi, this is Juan from Wellamen Mucho. Welcome to our channel. Today, we have the best fragrances of 2023 niche edition. Hi, welcome to Wellamen Mucho, the channel dedicated to niche fragrances, colognes, and perfumes. And today we have our top 30 fragrances of 2023. This is the niche edition. This year, we've, we've smelled thousands of fragrances and we have it's been very hard i mean we've done over 250 videos uh doing reviews and uh not only after having smelled thousands of fragrances and reviewing 200 something fragrances we had to choose our top 30. so you're going to hear me talk a lot about how fantastic they are believe me these 30 fragrances are phenomenal and they are from number 30 to number one. So, but before we start, we have two honorable mentions. Why honorable mentions on this list? Number one is because they cannot be found or they're limited editions. So, before we jump into the list, let's jump into the honorable mentions. Honorable mention number one. This is a Chinese fragrance. It's called Two Summer. And uh, the brand is called Two Summer. And this one is called Triple T. And this is a fragrance that I've put in this uh, as a honorable mention, because this is a fragrance that cannot be found in the East. It's not present in Europe, it's not present in America. So maybe in some countries that you're watching this, it is, but the vast majority of the people that watch Wellame Mucho are not going to be able to find it. But this one is a fragrance that is a beautiful combo of three types of tea, black tea, green tea, and uh, white tea with some sandalwood underneath, and it's so addictive and it smells so great that I had to include it in this list. Of course, the second one is a true limited edition. It's called Arc, and this is by the brand Mayo Parfums. This is a fragrance that has been nominated to the Olfative, uh, Art and Olfative Awards. It's called Arc. It's, a, it's done a very limited edition, so probably there's between 50 and 100 worldwide. So this is going to run out of... Uh, availability very soon and this is a fragrance that i love because it's the perfect fougere fragrance fougere fragrances i don't know if you know they have uh, this structure that is called uh opening notes is citric then it's called lavender and spices then uh, vetiver patchouli oak moss whatever but in this case everything it has it has that but with some vanillic vibe so this is not just the structure is that the quality of the ingredients is second to none. The quality of this is unparalleled. So that's why I am recommending it to you. You want totally exclusive and one of the best Fougeres in the world, you go for this. Okay, so we've already talked about the honorable mentions. Now we're going to go from 30 to one. And before I start, I have to tell you that I believe that all of the fragrances I'm going to be talking about today are unisex. If there's a fragrance that I believe is going to be more for women than for men or more for men than for women, I will let you know. In my opinion, all fragrances are for everyone or at least for the person who finds them perfect for their skin. So buckle up because we are starting the ride now. Number 30, we are starting with Christelle Jacquemin or Jacquemin and she has done a beautiful fragrance that smells, it's called Slow Life and this is a fragrance that is completely addictive for me. This smells like sauna, like warm woods uh, in the middle of a forest. This is, smells so great. It's spicy, warm wood, addictive, elegant, unique. I have a problem with this fragrance. It's, I love it so much, the scent, I love it so much. But at the same time, whenever I put it on, I cannot stop smelling myself. So I am all day long. I love it and I do recommend you try it out. Number 29, it's called Northman and the brand is Alexander. This is a beautiful combo of super elegant amber plus incense. You want something that is like old school perfumery done with super quality with a mix of incense like none other? You should try this. This is unbelievably elegant. Number 28, we have a fragrance that I've heard not so many good things about it, but I love it. This is called Uncut Gem, and this is a fragrance you should never, ever try on a paper or try in the air like this. 
never. This is a fragrance that you should try on your skin and you're going to see this harsh, unapologetic, citric, green, pungent fragrance that is uber elegant. For me, this is a kind of fragrance that is elegant, is uh, very astringent in the, in the kind of scent it provides, and it's super intel interesting and unique. I love it, and please do not smell it on a paper and wait for it. This is a fragrance that requires some patience, but once you smell it for 15 to 20 minutes, you're never letting go. One of the best fragrances of Fred Frederick Mal, hands down. Number 27, we have a fragrance that I've fallen for. It's called Proibito, and this is by the brand Unico. The brand I love, the idea behind the brand is that everybody should be unique. That's why it's called Unico, which means unique in Spanish or in Italian as well. And this is a combo of animalic elegance. This is a fragrance that is called Amber. It's a bit incensey, woody, and very animalic. This is as if Tarzan was wearing a tuxedo. This is just pure, sheer power, sexual, raw energy. Boom, I love it. And this is a fragrance that it really shines. You may think that the structure may be old school, but the emotions that it generates, they are very, very present and very, very powerful. Number 26, we've got a fragrance is called Alibaba. And this is by Mayora Parfums. And this year we've smelled a lot of fragrances says that have this boozy vibe. Well, this is a combo of boozy vibe plus like pastry. And then you smell it and it's like, oof. It reminds you, and it is because it's, it smells like pastry because the name Baba is a very famous Italian pastry. And in this case, this pastry, sometimes it has, it's got rum. So you've got rum, chocolate, very baked uh, pastries kind of vibe. And it's such a, an elegant and sexy fragrance. If you want a, a fragrance to go out at night and be very cheeky, dangerous and attractive, this is one. Of course, we've got plenty more like this, but this is one of the ones that I have to, for you today. Number 25, we've got Deep Water, and Deep Water is probably one of the best summer fragrances I have ever smelled in my life, and one of the best aquatic fragrances ever. Sweet aquatic vibe. This smells, I don't know, when you're in summer time, close to a pool, it's very warm and you can smell the water evaporating and you know this got this beautiful scent and you're having the time of your life but you're close to the to the beach and around you there is like sea water and you're having the time of your life happy elegance beauty and it's just a fragrance to enjoy your life boom it is unbelievable for me one of the best summer fragrances ever Number 24, we've got Camajeo, and this one is by Gabriela Chiefo. Gabriela Chiefo, she's a beautiful uh, creator of fragrances, and she does very unique and fantastic creations. And um, this is one of them. This is a fragrance that smells iris, smells like concrete, like powder concrete. I don't know how to explain. It's vanillic, and it's musky. It's a fragrance that is... Uh, citric, vanillic, spicy, with a twist. So special and so perfect that, I mean, try it. Next one we have today is called Masa, and this is by Kajal. The presentation is unbelievable. And this one is a fragrance that is green, fruity, floral. It's so elegant, it's, so, it's got some sweetness to it, and it's a fragrance that you are sexy. The beginning I thought when I, the first time I smelled it I thought like yeah it smells nice but then I saw the reactions on everyone. I believe this one is going to be bought much more by women than by men but guys out there try it and you're going to see magic on your skin. I mean women out there this is a kind of fragrance that we are all going to fall for you but I mean on guys it works out perfectly too. Okay, next one we have Amouage. I was thinking between this one and Purpose, and um, for me, I reviewed this one in 2023, and I was like, 
I know I belong here. So even though I believe that Purpose is a fantastic fragrance, this one is my favorite Amouage. And I haven't said anything, but just for you to know, I only put one fragrance per brand in this list. So this list, you're going to see only one per brand. This is my chosen from Amouage. And it's a sandalwood, aquatic, creamy, elegant, memorable, and the kind of here I am kind of fragrance. For me, this is the I belong here kind of fragrance. And that's why it's in this list. I love it. I do recommend you try it out. Number 21, we've got a fragrance that for me is one of the best from Nasomato, and it's called Sadonaso. Sadonaso is a fragrance that it's incredible, it's sexual, it's dark, it's sweet, it's animalic, it's uh, coffee, it's rum, it's, uh, it's got this powerful sexual vibe. I believe I've said a, long, a lot of times that one of the best fragrances to go out at night that I know is Black Phantom. But Black Phantom, in my opinion, is one of the best ones to go out and be successful with women under 30. If you are, um, I mean, that's my experience, but for if you want to pick up or you want to be more successful than Coca-Cola with people over 30, this would be my pick. This smells kind of like un intoxicated by Killian, but this one is a bit better in my opinion. Number 20, we've got one of the best quality price ratio of fragrances in the world. This is Botanicae, and this is Highlands. And Highlands is a uh, green, on the one hand is green, and the other one and the, on the other hand is Neroli Petit Grand, and is just pure elegance and energy. You want a fragrance that is perfect for every day, just enhances your energy, you're happy, you're the perfect version of yourself, and you're classy, and you want a fragrance that you can wear anytime, anywhere? Boom, this one. Easy, long-lasting, lovely, energetic. Maybe we're looking for something more complex or more difficult, but should you need something for every day, this is a very good choice. The next fragrance we're going to be talking about today is Trastevere by Pantheon Rome. This is another fragrance that is super sweet, and this is, it smells like pastry, super sweet, uh, just a beautiful uh, scent. I don't know, if you, if you ever go to a place where there is a lot of bakeries and they're just baking um, croissants or something very sweet and very alluring, some caramel, some, it's just like, wow, I, 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 my heart opens, I want to eat, it's something. Well, you wear this and people are going to want to eat you alive. This is a brand that is fantastic. The idea behind it is the loves and affairs of a painter called um, Raffaello with Margarita. And they would meet in the other side of the Tiber River in Rome. That's what it's called the Trastevere. There's a Cartier over there. And that Cartier was full of bakeries. And this tries to emulate that scent. And it's one of the sexiest fragrances that I know. Okay, but from sweet to sweet, I have to also to talk to you about Navitos Miel Extas. And this is the Honey Ecstasy. This is a fragrance that it's an explosion of chocolate, honey, rum, and it's just a lot of vanilla, tonka bean. So the more you smell it, the more you can get some of the nuances and the turns and twists and turns. But it's a fragrance that is sexy as nothing you've ever smelled. I was telling you about the Black Phantom before as a fragrance to go out at night and be more successful than Coca-Cola with people under 30. Well, this one is one of the best fragrances ever for every, uh, for every person you are going to be spoken about so close to you. So in this list, we have plenty of sweetness. We've got the Sadonaso, we've got this one, we've got the Alibaba, and we've got Trastevere. All of them are fantastic. This is unbelievable. Number 17. Number 17, we've got a fragrance that, should I have discovered it before, uh, I think I wouldn't be having this collection. This is probably one of the best signature fragrances I have ever seen. It's called Iris Bleu Gris. And this is an Irish fragrance by Maître Parfumeur Gantier. And here we are talking about a fragrance that is a combination of two of my original commercial fragrances of all time. One of them is the 
Infusion Dome by uh, Prada and the uh, Agua by Loewe. Infusion Dome is a beautiful, soapy, clean iris. And the Agua de, de Loewe is a fragrance that is vetiver, spicy, citric fragrance. If you combine them both, for me, they were two of the best fragrances ever, you would have this. This is a fragrance that is perfect for every day. It's fantastic for every day. It's a no-brainer kind of fragrance. Super elegant, super nice. And I was saying that if I had discovered it before, but then, you know, I, I was bitten by the um, niche mosquito and then my mind blew off. And I, but it doesn't matter. That's another story. But this one is fantastic. Next fragrance we have for today is called Torpe by Tiziana Terenzi, and I have to say that I've smelled several beautiful fragrances by Tiziana Terenzi this year, but this one has just conquered my heart. This is also a citric spicy, but this is citric spicy done by Paolo Terenzi, and that means that it's going to have a ton of musk. So it's citric, not that pungent, uh, it's more creamy citric, spicy, beautiful, and very musky, so it's elegant, sexy and it's a fragrance that you can wear anytime anywhere i love it i love it on my skin and this of course i love citric spicy and this one has been a mind-blowing experience this one is called torpe and i do recommend you try it out number 15 we've got la nuit de raiz and this is a fragrance that is a fragrance for going out at night in a different way this is the white light bright energy that you project going out at night but don't get me wrong sexy as nothing you've ever seen because a lot of fragrances we've shown you today for going out at night they're a bit sweet or overwhelmingly sweet this is just pure light iris animalic spicy but you're wearing the sun with you and when everybody's dark around you and you're wearing the sun you are a beacon for everyone this is sexy it's powdery it's unique it's something that i do recommend you try it out Number 14, we've got pine and sandalwood. This is one of the biggest discoveries for me. Uh, I loved it because I've already explained the uh, Fougere kind of fragrances. Well, in Fougere kind of fragrances, the most present note is always lavender. <clears throat> well, in this case, brings out the lavender and puts in some uh, pine. So it's energetic, different. We add to uh, sandalwood to the combo. With, so it's a peculiar kind of Fougere. But at the same time, it is such a beauty. It's such elegant, such a alpha fragrance. Um, <clears throat> I believe this one is much more for men than for women. But in my opinion, this is something that everybody should try. The experience should be tried by everyone. And I have to say, this is so good and so memorable that I went to this wedding this year. And the groom, when he was on his honeymoon he would he called me and said do you have to tell me what for what fragrance you were wearing because i remember it my wife remembers it my uh family they all remember it so my question is who remembers what fragrance other people were wearing on their wedding day i don't remember anything so i'm telling you this is that good this is that good number 13 we've got a fragrance that in my opinion, it's going to be bought much more by women than by men, but it's actually for everyone, and it's called Pax. And this is my wife's top two fragrance of 2023. I mean, there's another one, there's a tie. And this one is a fruity floral amory fragrance, and it's perfection. This is a fragrance that you can wear every time, everywhere. You want to go out at night and be more successful than Coca-Cola. You go out with this, and people are going to buy you flowers a house in grown in greenland or maybe they're going to sing you a song in japanese it doesn't matter it's a fragrance that is so incredibly good it's so uh, versatile alluring unique and the problem for me for the fruity floral amory fragrances is that you may get a bit tired of them you never get tired of this one number 12 we've got one of the most peculiar fragrances of 2023. This is Musky Rain. And this is a fragrance that is probably one of the few fragrances that has Narcissus that I know. It's a fragrance that it smells green, but at the same time it smells powdery, at the same time it smells animalic, at the same time it smells sexy. 
And when you read the bottle, it all actually says it. It says naughty intimacy. And that is what you get. It's sexy, elegant, memorable, and it's just a flowery, animalic beast. And this is one of the beastiest fragrances of this collection. You are going to be remembered. And you want to be remembered. Perfect. You don't want to be remembered. This gets things done. You're going to generate so much attraction to everybody around you that it's not going to be even funny. This is Musky Ray by Renier. Number 11, we've got the best one from the Elysium collection from Roger Dove. This is the All Intense, and uh, this just, it's better than the Parfum, the, the other Parfum, the Parfum Cologne, the Parfum whatever. This is the All Intense, and this is energetic, green, cypress, super masculine, super alpha, very powerful, dominant, and that's what you get. This is the kind of fragrance that is like, um, I was talking about Highlands, uh, being Highlands greener and less harsher, but this one is incredible. This is like an uncut gem, you know, in, in a sense. This is a fragrance that you everybody's going to remember you, and this is a fragrance for day that gets inside your stomach and never lets go. It is just that good. I love it. This is a fragrance that, for me, one of the best releases of Roger Dove for the past few years, and I had to share it with you. So cool. Number 10, we've got Sedley, and this is by Parfum de Marly. I've always loved the Parfum de Marly fragrances, and probably Pegasus Intense uh, is my favorite one. And there's another one uh, from the Black Collection, this is Jan, that I love it so much, but this one is the one that I've discovered this year as being one of the best versatile, all day long, day night fragrances that I've ever seen. And this is a fragrance that surprisingly, I it really performs well on my skin. And I'm saying surprisingly because mint always goes bad with my skin. Always or a lot of fragrances that have mint go bad on my skin. This one is not the case. Cardamom, aquatic, minty, uh, citric, it's just, I love it. This is one of the no-brainer fragrances for me. I have used it a lot this summer, and I find it just incredibly alluring and so easy to find. Sometimes when I talk about all these fragrances, they're fragrances that are a bit more difficult. This is the easy one. This is the one that is a no-brainer. So, sadly, by Parfum de Marley. Number nine. We've got Stand Out, another fragrance that has really blown my mind during this 2023. I discovered this one in January and still going strong with it. This is a fragrance that also has mint, but this is also half fig, pink pepper, is a bit citric, is a bit musky, ambery, beautiful. And this is another fragrance that you can use for every moment and occasion. And you're going to say, yeah, but you were saying the same thing about this one. And it's true. This one is the one that people are going to be more related to you because this is a fragrance that smells more similar in a better way than fragrances you know. This one is a fragrance that people are going to love because it smells different from anything you've ever smelled. Both of them are fantastic. Both of them are for every moment and occasion. What can I say? This one is stand out and it really stands out. Number eight, and I'm going to read it in Italian because this one is called Levis. And uh, this is a fragrance that has blown my mind. I discovered this one in Exipa in a Mexican fair of fragrances in January. And this blew my mind. This is one of the most difficult fragrances of this list. This is one of the fragrances that actually is more difficult for everyone that I know but I love it. It's a fragrance that I have a super spot for. It's a beautiful combo of strawberries, champagne, and oud. This is crazy good Indian oud, crazy good Cambodian oud. And it really enhances your luxurious vibe. You want to smell like a king, you want to be the most powerful person in the room, and the one that is used to smelling just over the top, this one is the one. You have to love Oud, and you really have to take a little bit of time to enjoy this, but once you smell it and you realize how good this is, this is a, pra a fragrance that, if you're the king, you don't care what everybody else thinks about you. 
because this is unbelievable. Well, number seven. Number seven is the other favorite fragrance from my wife, and this is Pacific Chill. This is another perfect fragrance for summer, and it's a green, aquatic, energetic, beautiful uh, vibe. So this is green, it's a bit like, it, it's really as if it was mo moisturizing your skin. This is not a dry green, this is a like a wet green. It's, you know, humid at the same time. It's got some sandalwood. It's just perfection, happiness in a bottle. And this is a fragrance that my wife and uh, myself are uh, fighting on who is the owner. So in this collection, it's going to stay here. So I have one. Number six, we've got a fragrance that is called Patchouli. And this is by Javier Fernandez. And this is a fragrance that has really surprised me. This is a creation that has been done by a family. This is done in-house. Everything is done by hand. The, the production is limited uh, and um, everything is taken care of with such love and detail that just by the presentation, it should deserve to be on this list. But the fragrance here is unbelievable. The patchouli they have is a limited or a creation by the grandmother. They kept it for tens of years. And it's been around and um, it's grown to become a dark patchouli, dark chocolate, dark woods, a bit like smoky tobacco. It's elegance, power and mystery all in one. So it's sheer darkness and power and elegance. And wow, I've never smelled anything like this in my life. For me, this is the, I must have it in my life. Well, I must not. I mean, I already have it, but... I do recommend you try it out. Well, number five, when I was at Exipa, I discovered this fragrance is called Siesta by Ramon Monegal. And I thought, wow, this is going to be hands down one of the top five of the year. But I was mistaken. Number five for me is not Siesta, even though I believe it should be in the top 10. But as I said, one per brand. Let's focus on the one that I find incredible. This is Invisible But Cool. And this is one of the best citric spicy fragrances ever. This is not an ordinary citric spicy. This is a pungent citric with violet that enhances the elegance. It is, it's got some mate to it. So mate, uh, just powerful citrics and a lot of spices. And it's just the fragrance that is, wow, I cannot believe this can be this good. There's my favorite citric spicy of all time is still Imagination by Louis Vuitton. That is over there. Well, this one is not that far. It's even very close. So what can I say? Try it, try it, try it. Number four, we've got one of the best discoveries of 2023 and it's called, the brand is called Aracaro. It just came out in 2023. And this one is called Oud Dubai. And this is for people that want to enjoy an oud fragrance that is actually versatile, wearable, and not harsh and not difficult for everyone. This has followed the path of Tom Ford in terms of using the oud without taking out a bit of the animalic vibe. So we put the oud here, we take out the head, this pungent uh, animalic vibe, and we leave the elegance, the dominance, and the, uh, and the power, and we mix it with some bergamot, with some vanilla, and with saffron. This for you that, for people that love wood wood and uh, tobacco wood and all the woods from Tom Ford, this is Tom Ford 3.0. This is just the unbelievable fragrance. For me, one of the best brands of this year and of any year. This is Taracaro. Number three. Number three, we've got Gran Gala. If I had to say, define this in a sentence, this is the biggest masterpiece by Miguel Matos that I know. This is just it. Presentation is second to none. The lid is very, very heavy, whatever. But then you press the lid and magic comes. This smells like nothing you've ever smelled. This is a tuberose, a palindrome. Uh, so the stick of the rose. It's got some uh, jasmine. At the same time, it's vetiver patchouli and animalic vibe, of course, this is a Miguel Matos fragrance, so it's got a lot of animalic vibe in the back, but it really comes out as perfection in a bottle. In the beginning, I was thinking, maybe this is more for women than for men, but trust me, this is for everyone. And my wife, uh, I also thought that maybe 
this was going to be too much, but my wife came out and said like, you're smelling great. This is fantastic. And she's worn it too, and she smells great. So completely unisex and unbelievably good and unique. In 2023, I met one of the most special persons that I've ever met. She is uh, Veronique Gabay. She's a person that has been around quite a while and she's got her own brand. And this brand is phenomenal. And this one in particular is called Ready for Rosé. And it's the idea of being in the beach with some wine, enjoying summer. And for me, it's much more than that. This is an aquatic, fruity, floral uh, fragrance that enhances our happiness. And it's a fragrance that is super elegant, super unique, and completely unisex. In the beginning, when I spoke with her, she said, well, this is a fragrance that is more for women than for men. And then she told me, well, my husband wears it. And then I said, well, this one is going to be my number one of the year. And I missed by just one bit. But the number one, it really just came out kicking and just was undeniable. But this is number two as the second best fragrance of 2023. And that's saying a lot. I love this fragrance. I love this brand. And I hope that you all try it out. Number one, the best fragrance of 2023 and probably the best fragrance ever. This is a fragrance is called 19 and uh, the brand is called 1907. This is an Slovakian brand and the brand, the fragrance is called Nom. Nom, I don't know if you know, but there is a fragrance that I've always loved. It's called Nabucco. Nabucco is a fragrance that has been discontinued, but suddenly in the other side of the world, there was another fragrance that using different notes and different everything, came out smelling very similar, a bit more uh, alcoholic because this one has alcohol and Nabucco doesn't have alcohol, but it has that same vibe that you wear it and suddenly you be, want to become the emperor of the universe and you. this is an aspirational fragrance. So incredible, so alluring. It's just like, wow, I love my life. And this is why I love fragrances that much. This is an uh, vanillic, incense spicy, a bit citric. It's got a little bit of everything, but the final combination is much better than the sum of its notes. And you are enjoying this. You are really, this is my life. This is what I love. And this is the end of the video because I am going to apply it because I really, really, oh, I love doing these videos because I have the opportunity to discover th things like this. This is the best fragrance of 2023, and in my opinion, the best fragrance ever. So, what can I say? We've covered a lot of ground today, from 30 to 1. And I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I would love to know which ones have been your favorite fragrances of the year for you. And I hope that you let me know. So, what can I say? This is the end of the video. I hope that you've liked it. If you have, just give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and I look very much forward to seeing you in the next videos of Huele Me Mucho. Talk to you soon. Adios, adios.